Now, before I begin, I just want to clarify my chair is going to be considered as a prop, right? Because then that would be very unfortunate. So. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Madam Chair, Honorable Judges, Distinguished Guests, and last but not least, Contestants, good morning to you all. How my optimism will help me to press on towards greater achievements of the future. Just to see her, touch her, feel her warm embrace, see her smiling face, and once more, See her again. These lyrics are from the song Just to See Her Again. And these words, ladies and gentlemen, capture the essence of my life. No, let me make it clear. Unfortunately, I am not currently involved with anyone. But that female being addressed is none other than my mother. Yes, my mother. Making her pro is my life's ultimate goal. And as Helen Keller states, optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Ladies and gentlemen, to make my mother proud, I need to fly. As a matter of fact, I need to soar. And it is only through my optimism that I will even begin to take flight. However, I cannot even begin to discuss the role of my optimism in my future achievements without referring to my mother having been referred to by Pastor Sheldon X as being a living example of courage and possessing an unstoppable determination. I do not hesitate to say that my mother is indeed that symbol representative of my optimism. She possessed an unwavering faith in my intellect and my ability to do my best. But most importantly, she encouraged me and believed in me even when I did not believe in myself. For example, on the eve of my secondary level examinations, I never thought that I would be able to attain excellent results and further my studies at the school of my choice. My mother, however, saw this as an inevitability. Furthermore, she always believed and reminded me of my potential to be a leader. Yet, I always dismissed her beliefs and admonitions for me as simply being a part of her motherly inclinations. I mean, come on, she's my mother for goodness sakes. She has to be nice to me and say stuff like that, right? All of that would change one evening, however, when she said to me, boy, you are so smart and you have it within you to be a great leader, but you have to stop building yourself and to realize that you are a very special individual. Ladies and gentlemen, a full year has passed since my mother has gone to be with the Lord. And in that year, I reflected and realized that I listened to my mother's admonitions. And in doing so, her beliefs were transferred into me. I became infused and driven by a passion so great. I no longer focus on my shortcomings, but rather, I place emphasis on each and every single one of my strengths. To the extent that the boy who thought that he would never become a leader would go on to be appointed deputy head boy that same year. And that boy who thought that he would barely pass his examinations would go on to achieve exemplary results, ladies and gentlemen. Thus, I am able to say that much like my mother's belief and encouragement, my optimism is the faith that will allow me to recognize that potential burning within me. It will drive me on. It will reassure me during those times of difficulty. But most importantly, it will ultimately help me to press on towards my greater achievements of the future. As Richard M. DeVos states, fewer things in this world are more powerful than a positive push. Here I stand before you today, petrified of public speaking, but still doing it plagued by a knee injury, but still playing basketball. And most importantly, written my testimonial each and every single day. I can now say with a great sense of pride that my optimism is represented by my mother. Thus, 
the memory of her still helps me to press on towards my great achievements of the future. A future, ladies and gentlemen, that I dedicate solely to that ideal of making her pro. Madam Chair? Yeah.